Next one. Um, now what we're going to be looking at, so we talked about consecutive. They're both interior angles, and they lie on the same side of the transversal. Remember, the transversal's right here. OK, now the next one is alternate interior angles. Alternate interior angles. So again, they're going to be interior angles. So we're only going to be looking at the angles that are interior. Tyler, you just need to be looking up here. So we're looking at alternate interior angles. Consecutive was on the same side. So alternate needs to be on alternating sides, like one on the left side, one on the right side. But they're not going to be straight across. We'll talk about three and four in a second. So an example of alternate interior angles would be angle three and angle six. Another example is angle 5 and angle 4. All right? And again, ladies and gentlemen, this does not matter if you, have your, if you have your lines parallel or not. Just when you have lines that are crossed by a transversal, these interior angles, when they alternate the transversal, those are alternate um, interior angles. OK? All right. So that was alternate interior angles. We're almost done. Got a couple.